morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tuesday, the 4th of January, 2022. And I've got a few jobs to do today. One of them being replacing a downlight with this Inlight Pluto One Light Spotlight. So let's have a look what's in the box. So the Pluto One Light spotlight this is going to go in the bar so we can have a directional luminaire pointing at the beer menu board so let's have a look we've got some installation user instructions and some fixing instructions two sets of instructions it would appear user instructions uh, changes to building regs there we go so we'll pop them to one side in this little bag we have two really poor quality roll plugs if you can call them that and two poor quality screws and a little chocolate block if you like and then in the bag proper, we've got the lamp fitting itself. Oh, am I going to need a screwdriver for this? Sod's law. He returneth with screw spinning implements. So, just loosen that off. Just loosen that off. So, we've got the bog standard um, ceiling mount bracket so this just screws up onto the ceiling and then obviously if you've ever put one of these up before you'll notice that they just slot in and a twist so then you can tighten it up they can be a little bit awkward but they're not usually too bad and then as this is a class 1 appliance which means it must be protected by CPC or an earth cable then we that's what we've got inside we've got a live and neutral input going through into the lamp holder and then we've got a live neutral and earth and hopefully the earth terminals are nice and secure always wise to just double check these before you go and do any installs but they look fine to me and uh, it's GU10. We've got some GU10 lamps knocking around. Uh, maximum rated 30 watts. We're not going to be anywhere near that today. So I'll just pop a bulb out and we'll have a look. And then of course this back section here means it's steerable without burning your fingers. Let's grab a bulb. Okay, I like to use these Meridian brand from Screwfit at Pool Station actually. And uh, they're 5 watt LEDs, they're nice and bright for the power, 5 watts, and we're just going to pop that bad boy in there. Um, it's not a very attractive lamp holder because obviously the lamp itself is showing out the front of the holder, but yeah, what can you do? It's better than no light at all, isn't it? So there we go, we've got about, I don't know, 300 degrees rotation there, and then quite a lot of movement on that aspect, so that should be fine. Let's go next door then, I've got to set up some steps, we'll climb up onto the ceiling space, and we'll have a look exactly how well the previous installer has fitted the existing down lights. I'm slightly worried that is going to have just cut off the CPC as usually what happens but I wouldn't mind being proved wrong so let's go next door and uh, have a look so we're in the bar uh, I haven't got that set of lights on yet because that's the circuit we're going to be working on but as you can see we've installed these new lampshades which actually reduce quite a lot of glare for the customers but it has the added disadvantage of making the menu board somewhat dim 
So we've got these three spots up here. Um, actually, two of them don't have an active bulb in there, so I'm going to be switching one of those bulbs out. And that one on the end is the one that we're going to be changing today for the directional light. So, what do we expect? Well, I'm kind of guessing that we're going to have um, maybe two strands of twin and earth running into a transformer of some type and I'll just put it on the tripod two twin and earth running into a transformer and uh, then onto the halogen fitment so I think what we're going to have to do is pop it down have a look at what we've got and then I might have to put some type of maintenance free junction box up there remove the transformer if needed and um, if there is one, I don't know if there is one. Um, I've retrofitted these LEDG U10s into all the spotlights in the building, and that has, so far we've had no flickering problems. But there could be, could well be a halogen transformer up there. So we'll have a look at that, and uh, yeah, and then we'll take it from there. We'll review the situation, and then once we know what's up there, we'll we'll advance. in place, get myself a screwdriver, I brought the wire clippers as well should I need them, right we're up, so first thing we need to do is pull the fitting down without snapping our fingers on the little mouse trap clips on the side. There we go. So that beauty's out nice and easily. Aha. So we have a little junction box there with, as I said, two twin and earth cables coming in. Um, we do have an active CPC, which I'm blown away with. That's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna, wrong fitting. Just gonna disconnect, or well, undo the screws here in this little junction box so I can have a look inside of what we've got. Seems to be a captive screw, no it's not. Ah, so very simple. Nicely made, actually that is. So we've got a little bit of exposed copper in one of these terminals. You probably can't see it because you're a little bit far away. So I'm just going to re-terminate that. In fact, I'm going to leave that all there and I'm going to go and grab the new fitting and I think this can go straight in to the new fitting, because we've got a hole in the ceiling with enough space, I reckon we'll be able to get in and out with both of these um, one mil twin and earth cables, no problem. So I'll just undo the existing uh, light fitting, and take that down. So this is effectively what we've got. It basically had a chocolate block in the top there. That sat up there in the ceiling with this little cover cap to cover the top of the live terminals. So we'll stick that back in. So these particular lights are running straight off 240, so they're geared up for um, LED fitments and as you can see there's no can on them you, they usually come with some type of can on there uh, but I'm going to save that because if we need to replace any of the down lights in the building then that's handy because we've got one that will suit so we'll pop that to one side 
and we'll get the new fitting out and what I'll probably do is zoom in a little bit closer on the hole okay the lighting's not great up here as expected because of course we are up on ladders in the dark so let's just get the fittings out of the way what I want to do is just pop off the earth terminal which holds the little chocolate block in position on the light fitting that will give me access to the other side of the chalky block a little bit easier so we're just going to pull these three terminals out, these three cables out of this chocolate block terminal should I see just like so spread them apart a little bit so the first thing I want to do is shove in, they're a little bit long actually so I'm just going to crop these cables they just look a little bit on the long side so I don't want to have any copper showing out the back of the light fitting so I think if we just crop these down a touch we should eliminate that do it separately there we go so first things first, I'll put my line conductors in, hold them in position, screw them down, there we go, happy with that. Second are the neutral conductors, get them bad boys in there. down nicely and then last but by no means least we have our CPC or earth conductors just wind that screw terminal out a little bit so class one appliances need earthing because there are exposed metal parts of course there we go so that is terminated as far as I'm concerned nearly fell off a ladder then so now what I need to do is pop the earth terminal back in just bend these wires backwards and out of the way earth terminal on the, on the fitting back into position solid make sure it's screwed in and there we have it for all intents and purposes that is installed now we need to mount the whole shebang so how are we going to do that because obviously we can see straight into the hole well I've come prepared I have a little piece of plywood now the reason I'm using plywood is it resists splitting so we're going to get this bit of plywood and we're going to fix the mount to it and then we'll screw the mount and the plywood down and when we push them together that will force the plywood to press against the plasterboard above thus giving us something to grip onto I'll just take this hat off a minute getting a bit warm so I've not brought my 
drive around. So I'm hoping I can do this just with the normal screwdriver handheld. Might be a bit tricky. But we'll see. Just gotta get the screw started. It's a tricky thing. I'm doing it all cack handed. I should have probably piloted these first, but Sylvie, I think we're off. Yeah, so the plywood won't split when you put a screw into it like a normal piece of wood might, which means you can get a little bit better purchase on the fitting, on the, uh, yeah, without pulling the screw out which is what might happen otherwise. Right, and if I just line up for the second screw in there, you can hear my shoes squeaking on the, uh, on the side of the ladders. So if we aim to go about there with this bad boy, we'll not be far off the mark. There we go. So I can see that pulling the plywood closer and closer to the plasterboard. Any second now it'll little grip it. There we are. And what we'll do is figure out the best position for the cables while we can. And we'll rotate the whole thing until we're in a position where we're happy the cables go up into the cavity and we're happy we're getting enough movement on the light fitting which I think is about there. So that's tight. That's tight. That's going nowhere. So now we just need to make sure that all these cables are nicely seated. Pop that up there. That up there. Give it half a twist. I see what the problem is. We've got the CPC poking out the side there. That's a no-no. Little twist. Secure the two grub screws either side. I'm gonna guess at the best angle. I think it's gonna be about there. Right, I'll relocate the camera and we'll have a look. So the moment of truth. How does that look? Oh, I think I've got it about oh, 90% of the way there. I think we just want to go down. That's better. Oh, that's much better. So now we can see the board. You know, it's up. I replaced the lamp in that fitting as well. And all that done, all that done before 10.19, there we go, oh you can't see it, it's 10.19, I'm happy with that, that does the job, directional, you can easily see it from down here now, the lights on the board perfectly, happy man, right, get your merch from harrisonsbrewery.com. <laughs>